And in today's video, we're gonna go from this to that. Step one, we need to remove every item which is sitting on the headliner, like light, shades, handles, plastic pillars, and so on. For that, we're gonna need T20 screwdriver, either I'm using the drill, pick tool, or flat head screwdriver, the tiny one, and a plastic pray bar. Also, everything you're gonna need, you're gonna find it in the description below. Starting with the sun shades, use the pin tool to pop the plastic cover. It has the notch or cutout, then remove the screw. Move into the left. Remove the first screw, then move the shade toward the door, and undo the second screw. Drop the shade undo the mirror harness by using the pin tool then remove the mirror light use the same trim tool and then undo the harness then the handle it has same principle with the plastic use the pin tool then undo two t20 screws and drop the handle straight to a pillar pop the plastic with the airbag sign remove t20 undo weather seal fish the fingers under the pillar better if you're gonna do it from the windshield yank it down after removing the clips start wiggling and pull it up install clips back B pillar that is a little headache to remove it completely you need also remove the bottom portion or bottom trim check the video in the description below or the cards here worth to mention you don't need to remove driver's side at all just have extra pair of hands to drop the liner and with a little squeezing you can remove the headliner without removing B pillar cloth hanger press to open undo screw pull it with the angle toward the front of the car. You wanna be pretty careful with that cause it has fragile mechanism inside. C pillar, same as the A pillar, but with the tougher pins. To remove it safely, you need to undo pins from the rear window, otherwise that gonna happen. Then undo last T20 from the liner, which is located very at the back. Moving toward the central light, just pull it down from the front and undo two connectors by pressing the side tabs. Also under the console located Velcro, undo it as well. Rear window brake light. From the rear window, use your fingers to push plastic toward the front of the car a little and down. Then remove two black tabs with rivet tool that is located right under that plastic. The last is the front control panel. There are two ways to remove it. First is not requiring to remove the sunshade, which is you need to push on two metal tabs, which is located right here. The second case scenario, you can fish your fingers from the back of the liner and press the tabs down. After that, remove all the harnesses with the pick tool, and that's pretty much it. Repeat the same process with remaining parts to remove them. The very last step is gonna be sunroof seal. Simply open the sunroof shade and gently start pulling that gasket. After you remove the gasket, whole construction gonna go down. Before removing the gasket, I'll suggest you to drop both of the seats down. And here we need the second pair of hands because we still need to work with those B pillars a little more. Since I broke the tabs on both of those pillars, that was not a problem to removing it or just dropping the liner down. But like I mentioned it before, to remove the headliner out of the car, you're gonna need to drop the back trim as well. So with that, we're pretty much done. As well as if you wanna check the video on how to replace the sunroof shade, link gonna be down in the description below. But for right now, I'm saying you bye. And if you like the video, please put the thumbs up button there, subscribe my channel and leave me a comment below. I'll see you in the next one.